Hi everyone, it's Christina, and I have a Stampin' Up! haul that I'm going to share with you. And this is their new catalog, um, good from June of this year to May of 2017. Um, always lots of uh, old things, old goodies and new goodies in their catalog. I'm not going to go through the whole catalog and show you everything, but I like their color palette. And... Um, you know, I've got my wish list going. They've got some new stamp sets and old stamp sets that I like. Look at this cute stamp set, the camera, the little uh, bee. Newsflash, you are awesome. I love you a what? <laughs> so cute. I like it. I gotta have that. That's going on my wish list. Cute little uh, punches. They're building. They're called um, builder, like tree builder. Bow Builder. Well, this is the Owl Builder and the Fox Builder. That's a new punch. This is so cute here. Look at that. I love, um, I just love how they put colors together. And this stamp set here is called Fresh Fruit. It's 24 stamps in there. And I love how that you can stamp them together. And then they've got the outline. You can outdo you can stamp and then you can outline. So really cute. And don't those pies look good? I feel like having one right now. Beautiful color palette. Peach, pink. I love, they've got lots of twine. Um, I love collecting their twine. Or their baker's twine, whatever you want to call it. Look at this stamp set here. It's got the little um, frame. It's on an easel. And then you can use these stamps and stamp inside. That's so cute. And this, I bought this last summer, or last, yeah, last spring or summer, I bought this stamp set, and it's so cute. Lovely to work with. And that's cute. So, and oh, is there one more? And this is a new stamp set. There are 29 stamps in this, so you can use the different faces for the fox. It's got some trees, big chop wood there. Um, and here's some examples. There's also the fox builder punch and then different examples of how you can use the stamps. So I always love their catalogs. There's so many, so much inspiration in the catalog. First thing I'm going to show you is this is new. They're called um, colored, they're colored enamel shapes. And let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five of them in there. So we've got pink, purple, blue, green, and an orangey peach color. So love these. So there's circles, hearts, and stars. So I'm going to have fun using those. They're so nice just to decorate, whether it's a card or a tag. Uh, flip books, pocket letters, really cute to decorate with these. And then I got some new ink colors and and old ones. Um, I love their Whisper White ink. Now it's really their their inks are so moist. I just love them. And the Whisper White White is so moist that I actually can never really get it to dry. So I use the white um, to it almost like emboss. I don't. So I'll, I'll stamp with white, and then I'll put clear embossing powder on it, and then I'll heat dry it. So that's usually what I use the white for. I got Peekaboo Peach, Flirty Flamingo, Sweet Sugar Plum, Dapper Denim, Cherry Cobbler, and Emerald, Emerald Envy. All right, so the next thing I got, which is new, is called Sponge Brayers. And they're nice and small, so you get two brayers, a couple of extra sponges in there. And what I want to use these for is, let's just say, uh, this is my card, and I'm pretty sure I haven't, this is like I'm just doing this for the first time. If I roll this in ink, and then just do that, oh yeah, okay, so there's green. Then I'm going to, let's see what else have I got open here. Cherry Cobbler. Mm. 
And how about Dapper Denim? Then I'm going to use Whisper White. I took a new roller. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing at the moment, but just having some fun. All right, so I'm just going to quickly dry that. Um, okay, so because this is spur of the moment, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'll show you the rest of my haul and maybe I'll use some of the stamps and um, some of the baker's twine that I got and I'll finish, I'll finish that. I've got some baker's twine, strawberry slush, pistachio pudding, and crisp cantaloupe. Now these are all on clearance, I believe. There's... Unfortunately, I think this is the only color left. It's about $1.99. You get quite a lot. Um, so, yeah, if you're thinking of getting some, it's in the clearance section. If you go to the um, online shop. Um, now, I am a Canadian demonstrator for Stampin' Up! So if you're in the U.S. and you're watching this, I can't help you, unfortunately. But if you're in Canada and you're like, hey, I want to get some stuff and I don't have a demonstrator, send me um, a private message and I'll see what I can do for you. All right, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got some of these little uh, um, little staples, you know, for the little tiny Tim Holtz stapler, this guy right here. I love this stapler and I can never, I mean, I am afraid to be out of staplers or, you know, like all of a sudden you're not going to be able to get them. Well, I want lots in my stash. I got some more sponge daubers, and this is new, but yeah, this is white, Baker's Twine and White. I actually already used that in a project. Some more black ink for my black ink pad, and then I'll show you some stamps. I got this stamp. It is called Hardwood. Really huge. I've already used it. Love it. Then I got these stamp sets, this one is called Jar of Love. There are 37 stamps in here. So one, two, three different sizes of jars and the lid and like a piece of burlap there, and all kinds of sentiments here. And, and then love this stamp set. It's got four of them in there. Live, laugh, love. Enjoy the little things. I am much more me when I'm with you. I love that. And here, this one, sometimes the smallest things take the most room in your heart. So love those two. Then I got a new die set. This die set is called Sweet and Sassy. And there are hearts. There are 15 different hearts in here, different shapes. See how this one is more, whatever you call that, more rounded. This is more slim. So love that. Very happy. I'll show you. I made a couple projects. And I'll show you. Uh, then I got this die set. It's called Every Everyday Jars. And this, there are, let me see how many. So it's on here. There's 17 of them here. So it matches this set. I got them, I got them as a set because it's a bit cheaper when you buy the die and the and the stamps together. Um, so one, two, three, three jars and another jar in here. So four jar dies. And then a strip of hearts, some leaves, and I don't know what's, oh, and a bow, and then some of these other things. Not sure what they are yet, but I, I made something with that, that and I'll show you. This, another die I got, it's called Hearth and Home. And in Linda Lapotka, she did a video. She does Christmas cards every month. Um, for, throughout the year and her last video she used this for her Christmas card and I love it and she um, 
and her picture in the background. I forget what it was, but I mean, you could do anything when you're using this die for your background picture in here. It could be a Christmas tree. It could be kids in front of the fireplace or a fireplace with stockings hanging down. It could be an outdoor scene. So I am going to love using that at Christmas time. All right, so I'm just going to show you a couple of projects that I made with some of the stamps and the dies. So with the heart die, I think I used this big one right here and then this one right here. So that one and that one. And I layered them and then I used that stamp set and stamped Live, Laugh, Love and Enjoy the Little Things. And I might make punch little holes in here and make them as tags or use them in pocket letters, project life. I'm not really sure, maybe a card, but um, I think they're cute. I've always wanted a heart die and now I've got like tons and tons. Then I used the, the die, so I used this, uh, yeah, this one and this one. And then I used this stamp and that stamp. And I used that stamp and that stamp. And I used some baker's twine, not this one. I used one, I don't know where it is right now, it's a little bit darker. And I just used this one that's going to be a tag. And this one, I'm probably not sure yet. I just have to try them out, though. So, yeah, liking that. And then I made a card. I'll show you that. And I used the hardwood background stamp. I think it would have been better because I used brown ink. I think it would have looked much better if I used black ink. Or Stampin' Up! has a really nice gray ink, which I don't have yet. It's on my wish list, but um, it would look better, but I didn't. I forgot. Um, then a string of gray flat back pearls, and then I use the this die and this die, and that's the white baker's twine, and a bunch of vintage buttons, thinking of you stamp, and I can't, I don't know what this stuff is. I found it here. I'll show you. I found this at the dollar store. They're self adhesive. And it looks like that. And then I used the small one in the background for this to, as the jar. And they're just self adhesive stickers. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the inside. So super cute. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, my card. I gotta finish my card. Okay, so now I gotta figure what I'm gonna do with this. I think I'm gonna use this. No, I'm gonna use strawberry slush baker's twine on this card. Then I have to do something with stamping. Okay, it's probably one of the fastest cards <laughs> I've ever put together, <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, I don't know if that one matches. I might have to find something else, but that was fun.
right, everybody. Now I've got this like, oh, right. Okay, so I'm going to have a little giveaway. Almost forgot. So, um, several months ago, Stampin' Up! was having a sale where if you bought, I think in the U.S., if you buy $50 or more, you get a free gift. If in Canada, it's you buy $60 or more. So these were the free gifts that I got. Um, I've also bought these for myself. Uh, this one is called Flowering Fields. These are all the stamps, and they're really pretty. See all the different flowers? And there's even a little butterfly. And then this one uh, has got a star, a strip of hearts, a strip of stars, you brighten my day, love, yay, light bulb, and a tag with the sentiment right in the tag. There's always something to be thankful for. And a little house. So, um... If you're interested in this, all you need to do is when you're leaving a comment, put these two words. Oh, I think of two words now. Um, oh, yes, please. Okay. So in your comments, if only, if and only you um, would like to win these two, um, somewhere in your comment, write the two words called, and it is yes, please. <laughs> And then, um, like always, I like to cut all the entries up and put them in a bowl and, and then draw. So as long as uh, I see yes, please, well, then I'll enter you to win these two. Otherwise, everyone, um, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. And we'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.